what's up, gaming gear here. Um, sorry if you hear an echo. Uh, my sound card either A will have the thing echo, like the um, sound into my uh, headset, so I'll actually put my headset over there so I don't have any noise. Or, oh, it's just turned three, it's one on four. Or, um, uh, the mic turns off, so, you know, I figured the sound sounded clear to me, so let's do this. I'm using my desktop mic, so I can get a chance of hearing. So, the subject today, kind of something that's never been done before, at least I've seen, is building a tablet. Now, you know the Raspberry Pi, little tiny board, kind of about the size of boards they use in um, tablets. It was a little underpowered, though. So, this company called... Where did I put that? No, I don't. Um, their link will be in the description. They made a part called the Ode Droid X how it's spelled, and um, it's this little tiny board, and it has six USB 2.0 ports, an HDMI out, mic, and um, headphone, and all that stuff, that's j also just in case you're wondering, that's not an IDE thing, that's an expansion board slot on the side, and it has a uh, SD slot and a charger thing, and another slot for a um, bit of NAND cache I'll get into that later, for the uh, solid state drive. And it comes with a quad-core processor at 1.4 gigahertz with 1 meg of L2 cache and 1 gig of RAM. It also comes with the uh, Mali 400 GPU. It's quad-core for all your Apple fanboys out there who are like, Oh my god, I want that. I must have. I must have. Yeah, you can get that too, I guess. But um, that's going to be the first part of our build for building a tablet. This costs 130 bucks, so it's also great if you want a home theater PC. Fine. It charges off of micro USB, as far as I can tell. So if you just, you know, or USB or NAND, you just find your phone charger, plug this in, and there's your phone charger. Plug it into your TV, HDMI. There you go. You've got your home theater PC, and it's going to be faster than Raspberry Pi, and it can play up to 1080p as well. So then, of course, we're going to need a screen, and the screen is going to be a 10.1 inch LCD. Now they sell all these parts off the sites that sells the Odroid. It's great, it's very convenient. Uh, the screen's 1366 by 768, so, you know, it's above 720p. And it's gonna be 70 bucks. It's 80 bucks if you wanna get a 13.3 inch screen. The resolution doesn't go up. I think it might go up to 1600 by 900. Um, I'll have a link at the top of the screen that tells you if it does or not, but it does not. These screens, I can't quite tell if they're touch or not, but if they aren't, you can just reuse you know, like, buy, like, a uh, keyboard with a touchpad or something like that for, like, ten bucks on Amazon. I don't know. They're probably not that much, but you can buy, like, a console with them. So, and with all the USB ports, it's going to be pretty fun. For Wi-Fi, which everyone knows you need that for a tablet, um, we have a MediaTek Rylink RT370. This goes up to 150 megabits a second, which for a tablet is pretty fun. Massive, especially for how much storage and RAM this comes in. Um, it has, you know, all the Wi-Fi stuff. It's got a little antenna, so you can use that that way. Um, oh yeah, one other thing: the LCD does come with a charger. I just wanted to show that. So that's good. Oh wait, I think I wanted to show that. Yeah, it does come with a charger. It does come with a charger. So that's good. The charge thing with the SL LCD. So don't buy the charger with the thing. For battery, which you know who needs battery soon in this winter's winter, we have a Allure Tech 8000 uh, milliamps mobile battery. It plugs through USB or micro USB to your preference. Um, just for comparison, a Galaxy S3, which you know in America has a dual core at 1.5 gigahertz, but you know over in Europe and all that it has a quad core that comes with a uh, 2150 milliamp um, battery. So, just for comparison, even though that does have two big screens, which are awesome, I have my phone right here, two on the screen, which is nice. Anyway, that's from Newegg, and the only part from Newegg, I'll have a good link to that in the description. But everything else, I'm just going to link to their website, which is actually hardkernel.com. I know, it's pretty cool. Um, for an SSD, we're going to want some storage, you know. This is going to be tablet-like storage. Also, this does... Um, Yeah, you have to install Linux on it, but, I mean, if you install the Ubuntu 
runs on two third qubit, which works on Laura. You should be fine. So um, we have a Toshiba uh, 16, 16 gigabyte. Uh, this is uh, kind of EMC MMC um, SSD. So it's got 50 megahertz, you know, transfer thing uh, off of a blanket PGR. So you know it's fast for a tablet SSD. 16 megs, si not 16. 16 gigabytes is going to be a lot for Intel. Sorry if I'm typing on here too much. Intel document, because that's why it said it says 50 megs, 16 megs. Sorry, in my Excel document, so I can change that. This is going to be 40 bucks. So you know, if you want, you could find a um, a SD card for about the same price of like 32 or 64 gigs. But that will be slower. And also because this plugs directly into the board and you shouldn't really. Um, you can probably. He'll leave the SD card slot open in case, like, you have a new camera and you want to plug the SD card into the camera and it won't work. You should have a bunch of SD cards on your board. Use this thing. Anyway, besides the point, it's called Toshiba. Why would you need this thing? Manner statement. So, this terminal cost will be $294.96. Not including, you know, finding a case. I personally, because I have a bunch of old Legos around here, make a case out of Legos. Static and they don't have plastic. You put around it, you know, nice and good, protect it. Make a case out of Legos. We're gonna have a case available for sale soon, so I bet they'll have this whole kit so you can just put your own tablet together and it'll be awesome. This is gonna do it for this video today. Please remember to like, favorite, comment, and subscribe. And I have a bunch of Comic Con videos coming up. I have the audio recording for South Park in here, which was pretty awesome just to be honest. <laughs> I don't know what my video is gonna be, but. That's gonna do it. Please like, favorite, comment, and subscribe.